Um, I'm Paul Young. I've been on city council for 17 years. Um, I'm currently the president of South Dakota Municipal League. As Jerry mentioned earlier, that Spearfish is probably the, uh, has the most uh, Municipal League presidents of any city in the state of South Dakota. Julie Larson being one, Jerry being another, Beth Benning, myself. Um, I just came back from Sisseton. I drove to Sisseton yesterday to speak at our district meeting. And I drove back, turned around and drove back today. Boy, it's Sisseton a long ways away. <laughs> Holy smoke. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, great meeting. And the best thing about being involved with the city government and municipal league is seeing people across the state, we all face the same problems, the same issues on different scales, whether it's Sioux Falls or Arpan or whatever, any community. Sisseton had, uh, they were showing off their brand new municipal services center. And uh, through the legislature, uh, uh, recently allowed uh, the purchase of armories. They converted an old armory into their municipal services center. They were very proud, they, they moved in in May. And were very proud of, of showing off their community. And they had a new police station there. And the, the, the services and the other communities from the surrounding area came to support them. And it was great. It just reaffirmed why I'm in city government. I love city government. I believe it's Spearfish. Uh, I'm committed to Spearfish. I've driven nine hours coming back and there was terrible fog early this morning to come back. I could have easily, they had another district meeting this morning or this afternoon in Del Rapids. I bowed out and said, my fellow elected officials can understand me going back for a candidate forum because it's very important for the community and the citizens of Spearfish to understand that I'm committed to Spearfish. The young name in Spearfish goes a long way. Uh, and I, I hold that dear to my heart. I can't let it down. Thank you very much. Well, good evening. Uh, I know some faces out there and others I don't, but hopefully you'll know a little bit more about me uh, by the time we get done here. You know, during the past few weeks, I've been asked a number of times, uh, Mitch, what are you running against? Or who are you running against? And I know that these are mentors innocent questions, but there's something that kind of bothered me about it. And it uh, didn't take long musing upon that to recognize, I don't feel like I'm running against anything. I'm running for a continually improving and progressive spearfish. And I'm not running against Paul here. I respect Paul. And I appreciate all the time and, and work that he's done and everybody else in the, in the council chambers, uh, the willingness to serve our city. But one of the reasons my name's on the ballot is give the voters a choice. Prior to that, the voters of War II had no voice in the representation in this seat for the next three years. And all across the country, you see city charters with two, three, or four year terms for a reason. And the reason is to allow a refreshing of local government to bring in fresh perspective and fresh representation. And fresh representation because the voters' opinions matter. And I know that you as voters have questions. So I'm looking into web technology, such as social media, uh, to improve access and communication in my seat on the council. And my promise to you is that when I vote, it will be an informed and transparent vote. I will represent your opinions, and when I take a leadership stand, it will be built on principle, so you'll understand my vote. I think by the end of the forum, you'll see there is a choice, and I hope it's clear to you. Hey, Mitch, what do you think?